You've talked about this before, but you could explain the technical issues behind the flow rate in Mark II pipes. There's, there's nothing that I would love to talk about more about than the issue behind the flow rate in the flow, Mark II flow pipes. Flow. One issue for me, though, is that I'm explaining sort of the explanation that I've received from the programmer who made the Mark II pipes. So, but as far as I know, the main reason for that is because of floating point issues with the uh, the values that we're using for, for doing calculations. Uh, I could spend the entire stream talking about floating point issues, which is an issue in computing in general. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, I suggest Googling it and learning what a floating point value is. Uh, but, a set, but TLDR, it's like, the, you know, the, if you, when you have a, a decimal number, in, in computers, like the, where the decimal is placed, that is like moving depending on like the size, or like the value that you're pointing at. That, that's what refers to as being floating point. Um, so like depending on what the decimal value is, you'll have like different um, amount of values within the decimal. There's a really shitty way to explain that. But essentially, essentially TLDR yep. is, is it's a precision issue with like how many decimals and values when we're doing calculations. And when you're doing many calculations, big calculations on top of each other, that precision within each other is wrong. So like, for instance, if you're doing calculations on like smaller uh, decimal values, then they add up as eventually and they won't add up to like the, the correct number that you're, you're, you want to achieve. And, and and, and, and not only that, it's uh, I, my understanding is, right, I'm thinking back to, to college, um, but my understanding is it's not even necessarily uh, smaller decimal places that don't work. It's yeah, just it's that specific like, values. certain numbers just yeah. cannot be represented. Yeah, specific values cannot be represented. And I think 0 yeah. 0.1 is one of them. It, like the, the, the data cannot represent that. It can just represent something very close to it. And, and so then there's like little inaccuracies in whatever numbers um, you're dealing with. And then yeah. those inaccuracies add up, and that's what the precision issue is. And now, when it comes to um, the flow rate with the the pipes, it seems that like with the speed and the numbers that we're dealing with, um, the speed of the pipes and the numbers that we're dealing with, um, it seems like that that um, imprecision mm -hmm. is. Becoming yeah, I, I think a good example of that is when you do it's like zero point one, for instance, is impossible to to uh, to represent in floating point, right? It becomes like zero point one point something something it becomes like a weird value so like if you want to do like 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 over and over again like at some point you're going to reach a point where the value is like nowhere near what it's supposed to be uh because you've you've made inaccurate like uh additions on top of each other constantly so it, it's something like that roughly i don't know the specific uh, algorithm for pipes so like it's it's kind of hard for me to explain like exactly why that's a precision issue for pipes, but it's something to do like Jay said, it's something to do with speed, and and that on top of like the you do multiple calculations at a time, because it. Yeah. But the intention from the team that I've heard is that they do want to actually solve that issue, right? So we've talked about different mm -hmm. ways to solve the pipe issue, um, which is one is scaling yeah. the numbers to be. Um, smaller evenly so it's like all the ratios are the same but it's just smaller numbers and so the the precision hopefully the precision issues that we have um won't compound so much to the point that it's an issue um but it seems like that they may have some ideas of how to actually just fix it um and it looks like that's the intention right now no idea what the outcome will be yeah that's what they're doing so we'll see what happens <laughs> yeah, 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 oh boy <laughs> Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> New video for pipe inaccuracy. Yeah, we could. I wonder. It might be like a random little yeah. five-minute video, but it might be interesting. Some people might find it interesting. I don't know if we. Something. I don't know if we've ever put out information exactly how the algorithm works. Because like, I think the Factorio yeah. devs did like a full full on um, blog post with like, this is how the pipes mechanics work in our game. I don't know if we've ever done anything like that. Or if like there's yeah, any if, uh, information on the wiki or anything like that, how how exactly like the it works? Well, yeah, someone at the office wants to write it. We can do it. Uh, I, I'm certainly interested in making like a, a more digestible short video that like because I like teaching people about game dev because like there's a lot of people who aren't game devs that y'all have like no idea what the process is like at all. And I think some people, if if I could explain it in like a really easy a way to understand. It might be really interesting to some people. It'd be like, oh mm. shit, I have to deal with this kind of stuff. That's interesting. Could be cool.